Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 21 player review and today guys we'll be focusing on the new Silver Stars objective Jonathan Carlos Herrera of the Sudamericana team of the group stage. It's not a great card design, but the actual card itself probably looks one of the best of Silver Stars cards uh, that we've had for the whole of FIFA 21. Looks very, very good in terms of his uh, his stats for a 74 rated Silver card. And we got nothing else really today apart from a really cool uh, image of the card design for the uh, upcoming Festival of Football uh, that will be getting, uh, that will start this Friday to obviously kind of tie in with the Euros and uh, and the Copa America, which I cannot look forward to. I'm, I'm so excited for both of them. But anyway, um, this Herrera card... I unlocked him in like 25 minutes. I came up against the same guy three times and I scored like within like, within like the first 10 minutes on those three occasions uh, and he left every single time and then all I had to do was go into one more game and then I scored a bunch of goals in that one of the games. So I basically got the card in like the space of what, 20 minutes or something like that. Pretty good. It all went my way for a change. But um, but this is like how the card is to use. He's got some fantastic in-game stats and also some like stats that don't look very good at the same time. But obviously you have to remember this is a card that won't require too much time to be able to unlock. Uh, and obviously you can't expect too much from a 74 rated card. But 3 star, 3 star. Uh, 3 games, 2 goals and 2 assists. Which wasn't too bad. Uh, 93 finishing, 96 shot power, uh, 87 uh, ball control, 94 composure, 99 strength. So... In a few areas, fantastic, but then also only 76 balance, only 81 long shots. So you can also kind of see the problems with this card as well. But to be fair in game, what, uh, one thing I want to make clear is he doesn't have a freestyle week for it. I mean, obviously it says that on the card itself, but uh, he had no problem scoring two very good goals. One, I don't know what his preferred foot is. I'm guessing it's probably his right, but he scored a fantastic goal on his left. From, uh, from inside the box. Uh, and I think it kind of helped with how good his shot power is that he just generated so much power behind his shots. Um, but but I quite like this card. Okay, fair enough, his balance isn't great. You know, he's only got, um, you know, 80 attack positioning, which for this stage of the game for a striker probably isn't like, it's not awful, but it's not like, you know, ideal at the same time. You know, only 81 long shots. But he's got, you know, th th this card's got quite a few good stats that are just perfect for this game. I mean, having the 94 composure, having that 96 shot power and 93 finishing were fantastic in game. He got me a decent return of two goals in the three games uh, and also a decent return in, in, in assists and obviously four contributions combined within those uh, within those three games. I like this passing. It linked up well with that flashback Tevez who is superb still in this game for me 86 vision 88 short pass and they both go into the 90s with the engine cameras that i do believe that's the best cameras that apply to him because of his dribbling now obviously look at his dribbling and as i said before there are a few areas where it looks pretty decent 94 composure 87 ball control isn't too bad 80 agility is okay but then you look at his 80 reactions 84 in game dribbling and 76 balance not ideal for a striker for this stage of the game but having that engine chem style doesn't make those stats in sync, but certainly bumps them up quite a bit. So his in-game dribbling goes up to 94 and his balance goes up to uh, to 86. Now, do I think this is the best dribbler in the game? No, I don't. He's got the three-star skillmas as well. Uh, he's not the best dribbler, but at the same time, it, it, it's not a major issue. Put it this way, I wouldn't let it put you off like not doing the objectives. I don't think his dribbling is that much of a concern and especially it doesn't become that much of a concern when you have something like that engine cameras that apply to him. I didn't think he was like uh, unbelievably quick by the same time he's not slow either. Uh, you know, there were times where he'd have pace opposition defenders. There were times where they could keep up with him and stuff like that. I thought his strength was fantastic. Okay, for enough, only 36 aggression but the 99 strength was just superb. He can just keep opposition players at bay. He can retain the possession of the ball very, very well. He doesn't get shrugged off, he doesn't get bullied off or anything like that, which is what you want from a striker. And I suppose, in a sense, he's a little bit of a target man striker in that he's not very versatile when it comes to his, you know, when it comes to his movements of maybe like his dribbling and stuff. And I'm not saying his dribbling's bad, but he's not going to feel like a Tevez, for example. And, and you shouldn't expect him to feel like a Tevez car. But in terms of like, you know, that that's a really good poacher, good from like, uh, good from you know close range, that 96 uh, shot power, the 93 finishing, and then the fantastic physicality that's combined in that as well of good passing stats. It kind of it means that the two players, Tevez and Herrera, that are far different players in terms of their stats, but they kind of bounce off each other pretty well. And also, there's the Lanzini objective still available as well. There's a lot of Argentine players that you can get in the game right now, two of them for free, and then one of them for about 200,000 coins maximum in the Tevez SBC. But on the whole, I liked this card. It could be useful for upcoming objectives as well for the Copa uh, America. Okay, I know Argentina aren't a part of it, but it could still be uh, you know, useful for certain objectives for that tournament. But... Um, 
But yeah, on the whole, is he worth your time? 100%. Uh, he, he's a fun card to be able to use in game. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth your time. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.